show me the product, we could have did it. Everything all crazy, it's I'ma get it. And I just wanna move on and not regret it. But the past is too dark. Alright, what's going on everybody? I'm Cameron Rhodes, uh, PDGA number 132-892. And today we'll be going in my bag. Uh, starting off, um, my putting putters. I bag four rubber blend lunas. Um, I use these for mainly my any putts. Um, and I always carry four. I always want to get them big putts in for a tournament, get myself prepared. Uh, going into touch shots, I use a glow luna. Dead straight, stable. I uh, can definitely take a beating if I hit a tree early, which I normally do. All right. And then we'll get into my throwing putters off the tee. I bag two of these. I bag a Big Z Luna. Um, really glidy, super overstable. So I have to put it on a lot of hyzer to throw it out wide. And then for understable to straight shots, I use a 5X Paul Macbeth Crystal Luna. Um, absolutely love this thing. Um, so now we'll get into my putt and approach, which will be a bag two zones. I bag a 2020 Ledgestone Crystal Z Flex. Love this thing. Definitely sticks if I need it on a huge hyzer or if I need it on a forehand flex. It doesn't skip. And then I bag a Luck of the Irish Z Zone. Definitely use it for my forehands or hyzer shots. Uh, definitely gives me a lot of skip if I really need it. Uh, trust this thing uh, on anything I put it on. All right, now we'll get into my mid ranges. I have four. I use four different types. I got the 2020 Hamas Tour Series Wasp. Absolutely love this thing. Just put it in the bag a few weeks ago. Uh, a lot of glide on this thing. I can put it on a small little turnover shot and it comes back, fights to the finish. Um, let's see. I uh, just bought this a couple weeks ago as well, um, a Meteor, uh, probably my favorite understable disc, love throwing this on a backhand uh, a turnover shot, uh, definitely love this thing, can't wait to use it on the new course a lot more. And then my oldest disc in my bag, a 2010 Ace Race Hornet, I uh, also use this on a turnover shot, uh, keeps the line, if I wanted to throw it on an ante. It's just gonna hold that line, or if I need it dead simple straight, it's easy, smooth, love this thing. And then going to my very first ever Discraft disc, the ESP Buzz. I've had this thing for a little over a year now. Uh, this thing's my most beat in, well second most beat in disc. Uh, I can put this on any line I want, but nine times out of 10, it just fights to go dead straight. Uh, if I put it on hyzer, it just rots that all the way. Now getting into the last part of my bag, I will be starting off, let's see, we'll go my 12 speed drivers. I only bag two 12 speed drivers, uh, shout out to Cody Hall, uh, told me to take out the 12 speeds and start learning my lower speeds. So now I only bag two, I have a ESP Zeus, absolutely love this thing. I use this mainly for my forehands. Uh, I'm not good with on my backhand, so I trust it way more on a forehand hyzer, or if I need it on a huge flex shot, I always can go to this disc. Uh, for probably the easiest for my arm speed, um, the Hades Proto, definitely a very flippy disc. Uh, I do have a first run but I'm not in love with it as much as I do this. This thing absolutely flips up, rods as much as I need to, get the most distance out of it. Absolutely trust this thing with my life. And now getting into all my lower speed fairways and, and drivers. Uh, let's see, I have a TI Undertaker. Uh, I throw this a few times. Um, not really worked it into what I really want yet. Um, this thing stays extremely straight 
Uh, a lot of people say some of them stay under stable, some flip over hyzer, but mine just stays completely dead straight. And I'll have to start incorporating that a little bit more. Uh, for a roller disc, I've been loving doing rollers. I use a ESP Sting. Um, if I need to also hyzer flip it, I can also trust it on that, but I mainly use it for my rollers. It's my go-to roller disc. And starting out with another Big Z plastic, I have the Big Z Mantis. Um, I use this for dead straight or super hot sky hyzer shots. Um, I haven't used it much in the last few months, but I absolutely love this thing. Whenever I need to, I, try, I use this as much as I can. All right, getting into my nine speeds, I use two Raptors. I have a first run and I have a Ulibari Raptor. Um, my first run, I use it for my forehands or I use it on small backhand shots if I need it with a huge skip. Um, and I also use this mainly for tomahawks. If I need something super flippy and tight fairways or I need to get around a tight gap, I use this for my flippy, flippy tomahawks and thumbers. Uh, then I use my Ulibari Raptor. I use it for some slight forehands slight uh, backhands, but mainly also another tomahawk disc. I use this, this thing's super stable, it stays dead straight all the way if I tomahawk it, thumber, no matter what, and it hardly get any kind of flare skip or anything or a small roll. Absolutely love this thing, shout out to Yuli. Um, I got this over Thanksgiving at uh, the Gobbler Classic at down in North Ashboro Park. Um, a Z-Flex Heat. Um, absolutely started loving this disc, non-speed driver, hyzer flip it, always keeps that rise that line after it hyzer flips um, over at the new course here where I live. Love using a majority of the holes. I get a lot of distance out of this thing and absolutely love this. And down to my final, my final disc, uh, I use a Swirly Glow ESP Tour Series Austin Turner Vulture. Um, I use this for my stable forehands. Um, I use it on super, super hyzer backhands. Uh, get it out wide, comes down, smooths it out. Uh, absolutely can trust this with everything I do. Um, absolutely enjoy my bag. Um, shout out to Discraft. Uh, also want to give a shout out to my sponsors team disc golf sporting goods um and let's hope 2021 is a good year all right i'm out